Hey, it's Oops, and here we are, start of day eight on my one million gold challenge. Uh, just have a quick look and see what we got from the auction house last night. Hmm, not great. Um, uh, five thousand two hundred gold. Uh, so a bad night at the auction house. I've still got two star belt patterns and my searing blade pattern. Uh, that should bring me in around 150k so I can't wait for them to sell um, I've set my garrison missions I put in my work order for Hexweave Cloth and so it's off to farming spot number one I'll be right back okay uh, farm spot one day eight um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm for some toys. I've been trying to think of drain or farms and can't really come up with too much. Um, so I'm going to farm three bosses out into Nan Jungle uh, here, uh, not far from Bolmar Flight Path. And these guys can drop the crushing, crushing toys. Now I've done it already and that's the way I'm going to do things from now on. I'm going to do the farms and show you the location and results straight away. Try and speed things up. So I've already farmed Smash and Grab here and I was very lucky. I got the Crushing Crushing Motor Controller. Uh, that currently is valued at somewhere between four and 7,000. Um, so pretty good it's two other bosses here I didn't get anything from them but we got one just over here and I think it's Gondor now he's inside here there he is uh, he also drops the crushing cannon controller and the last one is over on this side and that's Drakon and he drops the crushing crushing roller controller and he is up inside of here there he is so they're very quick farm every day, uh, worth doing. So that's one good drop I've had out of those three. I'm gonna go off and try and farm some pets. I'll be back, right back with a location. Okay, uh, this farm is for a pet. Uh, it's called the Imperial Mana Fiend. And there's three bosses here that have a chance to drop it. Uh, you only get one chance a day at each boss, so it's only a quick farm. It's, oh, sorry, it's out in the ground, and it's in high mall, but you don't enter the raid. You fly over the top, and come down and find these three bosses. Um, you've got Pug, just there. You've got Ruck Dug there. And one more, which is Guck. And I think he's over here. Yeah, Guck's in there. Now all three of these can drop the Warm Arcane Crystal. And that's what you need to get the pet. Now the pet currently sells for... 6,700 gold um, it's pretty good um, and it's a very quick farm every day so that's the pet farm I was unlucky didn't get it um, but I will come back every day and try for that right I'm off to one more pet farm that's a hundred percent drop and it's over in Pandalay I'll be right back okay uh, my last pet farm of the day um, I'm out in Pandaria and I'm up here off the island of Shanxi Do which is in Taolong Steps and I guess your nearest flight path is going to be the Shadow Pan Garrison 
Now this guy is 100% pet drop um, every kill and his respawn time about 15 minutes. Now make sure you go after him and not the spawn of Ganathus. And he should be just there, Ganathus, there he is. So let's go in and kill him. He swims quite fast, so I probably need to get ahead of him about. Bit trouble. Right, get ahead of him. And I can't fail. There we go. Got him. And that's it. We get the spawn of Ganathus Pat. Uh, Let's just have a quick look to see what he's worth. Uh, he varies anything from 900 to 3000, so it's going to depend on your server. That really is easy, easy gold. Okay, uh, I'm going to go on to my next farming spot of the day. I shall be back with you when it's done. And here's my second farming spot of day 8. Um, I'm out at Burlock Stand, which is in Deep Helm, right over in the corner here. And this is a very old farm, but nobody seems to do it. There used to be masses of competition here, but not anymore. I've done the farm. Uh, what is essential is you need to buy a potion treasure finding. It's going to cost you somewhere between three, four hundred gold, but it is worth it. And what you're going to do is you're going to drink the potion, eat your bear tartare, and you're going to farm these little burlap grub thumpers. Now they'll go all the way down here, down, down to the bottom here, do these few, and back up. Now, now and again you'll get a bit of a lull, um, it would be a good time to bend uh, some of the trash in your bags. It'd probably two minute low and then they'll all respawn but they do respawn really quick and just up here on the platform are two more little sets so you're just up and down farming and looting and opening up them tiny treasure chests you get from the potion of luck so I've done that for an hour a nice thing about this farm is you can log out take a break come back and you've still got time left on your potion I'll show you what I got. Okay, there's a couple of the chests I'll open up so you can see the sort of thing you get. Some more and some gold. Volatile fire and gold. Another couple of gold. Bit of cloth, some more and some gold. And some gold. In total, I got uh, 702 raw gold. Um, that's from the gold you pick up and from some trash that I've ended. I also got 32 greens that I'll disenchant for the Hypno Dust to make Ember Silk bags. I got 1257 Ember Silk cloth, a recipe enchant bracer agility that apparently sells for at least a thousand gold and a epic item pair of leather trousers they're going to look like going to get about four or five hundred gold for those. I also got 15 volatile water, currently selling at 60 gold on my server. Uh, volatile life, they're just selling at 22 gold a piece. Uh, 19 volatile fire, worth 39 gold. And 23 volatile air, worth 31. In with that was 29 pyrite oil and 22 element and more up and almost forgot the volatile earth to sell to six gold that's a pretty decent farm for an hour and an investment of 400 gold um it's a no lose one really and one i'm really surprised does that more often okay i've got one farm left for today and that'll be my three hours up um i'm gonna go over and farm some volatile air 
Uh, I've already done it, but I shall be right back and show you what I've got. And here we are. I've shown you guys this one before. I've farmed this dungeon on normal for volatile air. Uh, it's the Vortex Pinnacle, which is out at Oldham, right up here in the clouds. Uh, I'm running earlier for an hour, and the outcome of that was 254 volatile air, which is very nice at 31 gold apiece. Um, some blues and greens, had some bender trash, and I also got 440 raw gold. Uh, so nice little farm for an hour that's it for today guys i will be back tomorrow uh, please let me know if you have any comments or suggestions of where to farm that you think is worth a try please like subscribe if this was useful at all and i shall catch up with you all tomorrow bye bye